Good evening, you're watching Estuary TV News. Coming up tonight, a triathlon in Scunthorpe aiming to get children active. And this just in, a suspicious UFO landing at Swanland Primary School. And my guest tonight is Jeff Sargison, a director of Beverly Folk Festival, who is here to tell us about the names appearing this year. <laughs> Welcome to SUTV News, I'm Richard Morris, but first it's over to Erica Barker for all the news headlines. Tata Steel in Scunthorpe is one of the area's, if not the area's, largest employer. Now across the country they're travelling to various venues and inspiring children to take part in triathlons. On the rainiest possible day to hold a partially outdoor event, I went along to find out more. I'm here at the Deep in Hull where they're doing something which some people may classify as completely impossible. They have to count every single animal in their collection. He may have died over 30 years ago, but the comic legend that was Tommy Cooper still exists in the nation's collective memory. Now, a new tribute act is hoping to remind us all of what made the man so great. John Hewer, aka Tommy Cooper, joins me now. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm, I'm very good, thank you. How good, are good, you? Good. I'm very good, thank you. So tell us a little bit more about sort of the background of him, because obviously he is such a sort of legend in British yeah. comedy. Yeah, um, he is a, a giant of the last 100 years of entertainment, and uh, I think he... And it's a pretty high-profile show, really, isn't it? I mean, you've been pre performing yeah. it for quite some time, uh, and you've yeah. also had lots of media exposure sort of previously yeah. about it as well, so give us an idea yeah. about that. So and of course, we'll, we'll be staying with you for the rest of the show, but obviously you're going to be in Grimsby, Louth. That's Steve right. Thoughts. We're going to be giving yeah. out all the details of that a cool. little bit later on in the show. Um, please do stay with us because what, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something with these very interesting things yeah. on the table here. <laughs> <laughs> so do stay with us and we'll come Google. back to you in just a couple of minutes. Thank you. Uh, you're watching SGTV News. Coming up, Red Deer are invading Lincolnshire and people can go visit. And Erica Barker will be back with all the latest local sports news. that East Lindsay is still so much on a knife edge. Yes, yes, um, and of course Labour are, are of course hoping to gain more seats within East Lindsay. I believe there's over 10 Labour councillors within East Lindsay and this is something which most people find you know, quite surprising because they assume that it would be more like the East Riding of Yorkshire, you know, very rural area, very conservative majorities, but it's not actually quite the same in East Lindsay. We will return to this subject this time again next week, Richard. Thank you okay, very much. Thank you.